The Phillies just got swept by the Rangers, and we got a little bit to talk about. How's it going, everyone? I am back with the Phillies rundowns. I haven't done these in so long, and I'm so excited to finally get back to it. The Phillies just got swept by the Rangers, and we got to talk about this. Nobody expected us to go 0-3 to start the season, but that's what happened. Phillies did not look good. Their pitching did not look good. Their stars did not good, and their hitting, frankly, was not that good. They lost 2-1 on Sunday Night Baseball against not that great of a Rangers squad. I mean, they have improved, but they're nothing to be... Nothing to be jumping up and down about. So we shouldn't have gotten swept by them right off the bat. Now we have to play a team like the Yankees coming this week. So it's going to be a tough test to get this season started. So the first point I want to talk about is we just got swept by the Rangers. Nobody expected getting swept to start the season after we just made a World Series one. Came up just short of the World Series win. So people expected us to come out hungry, come out fighting, looking for that revenge tour. And that's not what happened. We came out 0-3 to start the year. But people... Nobody expected this. Nobody expected to start off 0-3. And I'm not too mad about it. I understand it's the beginning of the season. We still have 159 games to go. So we are in perfect... We're fine. The Phillies are not looking to jump ship yet. The season's not over. We still got plenty of time left. But you would have liked to at least pick up one or two games against this Rangers squad. I mean, look. We swept the Braves a couple years ago to start the year. 2021. And what did they go on to do? They went on to win the World Series. So you can lose the first series. You can get swept in the first series. And you can still win the World Series. So the season is not over by any means. People need to calm down. And we just the Phillies just got to improve to go look forward and get better down the road. The pitching needs improvement. The pitching was the big thing in this series. That was our issue. Yeah, the last game Sunday Night Baseball, which just ended, that, that was the hitting. The pitching was fine in that game. The hitting was the problem in the Sunday Night Baseball game. But before that, the first two games, the Phillies gave up 27 runs combined. That is not going to do it. That is not going to get the job done. The Phillies pitching needs to be better. Aaron Nola, what, what happened with him? Zach Wheeler, what happened with him? All of our good pitchers, all of our star pitchers, they were struggling this weekend. Rand, or Sir Anthony Dominguez, he's struggling in his uh, debut outing of the year. Junior Marte, I was surprised with him. I thought he was looking sharp to start, and then he just kind of unraveled there um our, our our guys aren't showing up the pitchers are not showing up and they really need to show up Bailey Falter had a nice start on Sunday Night Baseball uh pitching five and a third and only giving up two runs so that was that was good by Bailey Falter getting us some innings out of our starters and our, our bullpen did really well they were able to shut them down hitting just couldn't couldn't get us over the humps so they couldn't get us couldn't get us that win on Sunday Night Baseball couldn't get us our first one of the year um but yeah, and now talking about the hitters, Kyle Schwarber, he is 1 for 13 to start the year. He started off with a struggle last year. He was in a big slump last year. He was hitting like in the low 100s last year to start the year in the first couple months. So I'm hoping he doesn't do that again. I'm hoping he stays a little bit more consistent. Yeah, he picked it up in June last year, but I would love to see a consistent Kyle Schwarber all year long. I think that's what the Phillies need. I think they need a little bit of a fresh Fresh guy to start at the top of the lineup. I don't like Kyle Schwarber batting second. I love Trey Turner leading off, but Kyle Schwarber, at the beginning of the season, I don't think he should be batting second. It just doesn't make sense right now if he's going to be hitting one for 13 in his in his first plate appearances. I don't I don't love Kyle Schwarber in the beginning of the season. He's never good in the beginning of the season, so I wouldn't put him at the two spot. I'd have him more of the, of the six spot, maybe the five or six spot, and have someone like Alec Bohm bat in the two. Alec Bohm, I know I know Rob Thompson wants to split up the righties and lefties, but Alec Bohm at the number two makes the most sense because Alec Bohm's been raking. Him and Trey Turner at the top of the order would be something scary. So it'd be Trey, T- I, yeah, so it would start off with about three, four righties, but I really think it's what you got to do. Kyle Schwarber, he's not getting the job done in the two spot. So Alec, moving Alec Bohm there really makes the most sense to me. Maybe have a Trey Turner, Alec Bohm, JT Ramuto, and maybe put Derek Hall in the cleanup spot. I kind of like Derek Hall in the cleanup spot. Maybe put Castellanos over there. Um, maybe even put Schwarber there. Maybe Schwarber will be fine in the cleanup spot, but I don't think he's a number two hitter, um, at least at this point in the season. He doesn't make sense for the two spot. Now, how can we forget about this series? Just move on. We're in an 0-3 hole to start the year. We're the worst team in the National League. I know I'm joking about that. We're, we have the worst record in the National League right now through three games. We're the only team without a win in the National League. And I think we're the only team without a win so far, but I would have to double check. Maybe the Royals and Tigers don't have a win. But we're not looking good to start the year. Obviously, that's going to change. We're the reigning NL champs. We are going to fight for playoffs this year. So I wouldn't, I'm not getting worried, 
But how do we move on? We just have to forget about it. They have to go out and play the next series. You have to focus on winning series. You didn't win this series. Go on and win again. Uh, win the series against the Yankees. Go on and win the series against the Reds. You got to keep going and win the next few series. We're playing bad teams in the month of April, so we should be able to capitalize and pound on these teams. Besides the Yankees, there's not many good teams reversing. We're reversing the Reds twice, reversing the Rockies in there, reversing the Marlins. So we should beat up on a couple of these teams. We should win a lot of series. I don't think we should lose a series, maybe besides the Yankees series. So this, the month of April is a month where we got to pick it up and play some 500 baseball until Bryce Harper gets back in maybe June or July. What to look forward to for the next couple months, really, is how this team plays without Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper is the foundation of the Philadelphia Phillies right now, and without him, this team doesn't really have that fierce identity. They don't have that perfect that perfect lineup right now. But with Bryce Harper, they're a full force lineup. Without him, they have to work around, have other guys filling at the DH spot, and it's a whole mess, but if they can put that together before Bryce gets back, once Bryce gets back, we're going to be firing. And I'm really excited for Bryce Harper to get back. So that's something to look forward to. I'm really looking forward to see if we can play 500 baseball, play for a wild card spot while Bryce is gone, and then go on a run when he gets back in either June or July. So there's a lot to look forward to with this Phillies lineup. I want to see how the pitchers do. I really want to see how Nola performs on a contract year. I really want to see if Wheeler can keep his success and maybe get another Cy Young season. I want to see what Derek Hall can do. Derek Hall, he's filling in for Reese Hoskins, who was injured. So I want to see if Derek Hall can... Maybe make a case to be the starting first baseman of the future for this team. I also want to see players like Alec Bohm. Can he make a run for an MVP? Alec bohm has been looking really good. And I honestly think he's going to come top 10 in MVP this year. I think Trey Turner might even come top 5 in MVP this year. Trey Turner, I believe, already has 4 or 5 extra base hits to start the year with 2 triples. He's looking great. Alec Bohm's looking great. So there's a lot of good players on this team that I look forward to. I'm also really looking forward to see Nick Castellanos get his redemption this year. He had a really rough year last year, so hopefully he can get back to it ne back to it this year and have a good 2023 season. Also, before I want to before I conclude this video, I want to talk about Scott Kingery. He already has two home runs in AAA. I love Scott Kingery. I really hope he gets his get back this year. I hope he goes on his revenge tour and comes back with the squad and helps this team produce because I. It's his last year of his six-year contract, the bad six-year contract he signed before he even played a game in the majors. So I'm hoping he can make the best out of his last year with the Phillies. If this is the last year, he might get an extension, maybe a one-year prove-it deal if he has a good season this year. But I'm hoping Scott King can come, can come back. So I'm really looking forward to that. So that's going to conclude it for this first Phillies rundown I've done in a really long time. I think it's been over a year. And I'm really looking forward to get back to this series. It's not just going to be Phillies rundowns. It's going to be Sixers rundowns, Eagles rundowns, Fires rundowns. I'm going to try to do it after every every Phillies series and after every Sixers game, Eagles game, maybe after every Flyers game, maybe after every couple Flyers games because I know hockey games run a little bit more often. And I'm just really looking forward to get back to the series. I got the new face cam. I'm really excited. It, it didn't cost me that much, and it looks really good, especially with the lighting. So let me know what you guys think of the face cam. I'm, I'm, I'm really stoked to to get new things started on the channel for you guys and i know you've liked the prospect videos so keep up the support with that i'm going to keep making prospect videos i really like making the prospect video videos for you guys and I'm, I'm just really excited for the future of the channel so make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss anything let me know what you guys think about the phillies rundowns about other rundowns and the prospect videos and what other things you guys want to see and that's going to do for me and i'll see you guys in the next video